from the tallest peak on land to the darkest abyss of the sea. The Earth is adorned with a variety of landforms. Some landforms are simple, like rolling hills and peaceful valleys. Others are strange and magnificent, leaving observers to wonder how such formations are even possible. These geological creations seem to defy the laws of gravity or look completely out of place. Many spark so much curiosity that travelers come from all over the world just to witness their grandeur. One by one, we'll visit six unique landforms. We'll start with the Cappadocia Fairy Chimneys of Turkey, which are in the same province as the ancient underground city of Derinkuyu. This historical region is covered with rock mounds that stand like peak-whipped cream in a landscape of plains, hills, and mountains. The fairy chimneys can reach about 40 meters or 130 feet in height. Geologists believe that their peculiar shapes were formed through weathering and erosion. The softer bottom sections of the pillars wore away faster than the stronger basalt caps. If the chimneys could share the history of the past, they would tell a tale of many civilizations that once inhabited the land, for it is located along the ancient Silk Road. During the Roman Empire, early Christians would take refuge in this area as they fled from persecution. Not only are the fairy chimneys a marvelous geological site, but it's also an area where science and history come together. If we could travel along the historic Silk Road all the way to China, we'd enter a land of rainbow mountains, the Zhongyi National Geopark. These mountains look as if they were liberally streaked with vibrant color using a paintbrush from the heavens. It's likely that these mountains were built up by the same tectonic plate movements that formed the magnificent Himalayan mountains. The red sandstone that makes up these mountains has been weathered and eroded through time, creating pillars, towers, peaks, caves, and ravines. Different minerals, such as iron, react with other elements present in the stone to produce all the varieties of color you see here. Leaving the continental landmass of Asia, we visit the island of Bahol in the Philippines. The chocolate hills appear to be a fantastical landform set in a sea of beautiful tropical greenery. When the climate is dry, these dome-shaped hills turn from green to mustard yellow, then to a chocolate brown. Within this area, there are about 1,700 mounds. Some reach as high as 120 meters or 400 feet. The base of this land is limestone that has been lifted up, while water has weathered the rock and eroded the sediments. The resulting hills and surrounding land are capped with topsoil used for farming. Even though we see the weathering of limestone all around the world, the uniformity of these hills is truly unique. Moving across the globe to the tiny isle of Staffa off the coast of Scotland, we find Fingal's Cave. Here, we discover more columns, but these look quite different. They're compacted and fit together with perfect hexagonal symmetry. The shorter columns appear to be stepping stone pathways bidding you entrance into the cave. A closer look at the top of the columns leaves you wondering how it is possible for rock to form in this way. As huge amounts of lava rose up out of the ground and cooled, tall sections of the rock contracted or shrunk, pulling the sides inward towards central points. The rock then hardened, molding these remarkable columns. Geologists notice that this basalt rock 
is identical to the basalt rock columns of Giant's Causeway in Ireland. They believe that the same massive lava flow that made Fingal's cave also stretched over to Ireland. As we journey inside the cave, we hear a melodious symphony of ocean waves crashing against the cavern walls. The echoing tones bounce off the archway and you feel as if you are standing in a cathedral. The natural beauty of Fingal's cave is nothing less than incredible. Now, let's travel to the American states of Arizona and Utah for yet another amazing sandstone formation called the Wave. As you can see, it has truly earned its name. The appearance of the wave makes you want to hop on a surfboard and ride along its slides and slopes. Geologists say that the wave was formed as sand compacted and cemented into striped sandstone. Then the power of rain and wind carved out this mesmerizing masterpiece. Since parts of the sandstone weather differently, the multicolored ribbed patterns are the fascinating result. Our last stop is in the South Pacific. Off the coast of New Zealand, in Tasman Bay, lies an odd-looking granite boulder. Locals call this unique landmark Split Apple Rock. Legends and myths have formed around how this rock was split. From a geological perspective, it is likely that a natural fracture called a joint formed at a prime spot in the rock, weakening it. Water seeped into the fracture, froze, and expanded, causing the rock to split. Because of its interesting appearance, tourists like to wade out to the rock for souvenir pictures. For many people, landforms across the Earth provide serene spaces in which to commune with God. As we visit both the simple and the unique parts of nature, we stand in awe at the variety and beauty of the planet. We behold the wonder and amazement of the beautiful world our God has created for us to live on, a sign of His love and care. <laughs>